<laughs> what is your money clock? Today we're going to talk about something that no one ever talks about, your money clock and how that can impact either adversely or positively on your quest for financial independence. Each one of us only has so many years of high productivity. No one ever talks about this. No one ever brings this up. But today we're going to talk about it and how you can use this principle to increase your wealth. Typically, your average person is going to make their most money between their mid 20s and their mid 45, mid 40s and to make money and to enjoy your life and have money set aside for your retirement because you're never going to retire from a business standpoint. So that's a 20 year window where you're going to make the bulk of your money. If you're an average person, if you're a doctor, if you're an attorney or a highly paid executive or an entrepreneur, this does not apply. But if you're the average person, this greatly applies. What is your money clock? It is the ticking of your financial expiration life. Many of the people who reach their mid forties to late fifties, once they exit the job market, it's very hard for them to come back in and continue to make the same amount of money they were accustomed to making. Why is this important? Essentially due to average financial advice, which is mostly rooted toward poor people. You only have 20 to 30 years to really make the money that you need to live on the rest of your life. Most people, your money clock starts ticking at around 25. It starts ticking very loud when you reach your forties or fifties. At this point, this is when many people exit or are pushed out of traditional jobs. Now, how do you get around that? And how do you start your money clock ticking much sooner? One of the things you need to do is to start your money clock much sooner. I will address people who are already a certain age a little later. You need to start your money clock at 16 to 18. You don't have to have a full fledged business but you do need to have a side hustle that makes 1000 to $2,000 per month mandatory. Now, once you start your money clock ticking at 16, let's say you go through a 10 year period or maybe a 20 year period, you can reach extreme financial independence during this time frame because your energy level is very high. You have a lot of energy. You look good. You can stay up all night and get up and be very productive. But the older you become, if you don't exercise, that dissipates. I'm 52 years old and I can still work a 12, 16 hour day, which many people are trying to get away from. I don't get away from it because I know what the future holds. We're going to have remarkable medical breakthroughs. We're going to have the stuff and they're going to cost some money. So that's one of the reasons I still am in a active income mode versus just chilling. There's a lot of people who want to reach, let's call it chillation destination chillation where they have enough money to do what they want to do. There's a problem with that though. There are many people who have no concept of what to do with themselves. People don't have hobbies and I know you're going like, Hey, you're being elitist. They'll figure it out. Will they? You should have that figured out. You should be saving money. You should be working out. You should be doing a lot of stuff. So if people were going to figure certain things out, I think they would have figured them out a long time ago. If you are in a position, like say during this government shutdown and you miss two paychecks and you're in the world of hurt, you haven't figured some stuff out. And this isn't me being unkind to the people who are caught up and being literally held hostage. It's me stating facts. The average American doesn't have $1,000 cash money they get their hands on in a case of emergency. 50, 60 some percent of the people in this country are in that position. That's why there are these pawn shops, title pawn, uh, rent to own. That's why this stuff exists because people don't have money. <laughs> what does this have to do with your money clock? No one ever told you that you only had a certain amount of years of high productivity. You could be productive in your fifties. You could be productive in your sixties. You could be productive in your seventies. Look at Nancy Pelosi. She's running circles around Donald Trump. She's older than he is. 
She's older than he is. It's not an age thing. It is a perspective thing because most people are working to stop working. They're not working to build something. They're not working to create a life of intent and design. They're working to potentially set aside a bunch of money so they can do what they really want to do. I hypothesize that maybe you should be doing what you really want to do right now and blend that into your work life so you can make some money and be happy at the same time. Just a thought. Now, what if you are one of those people who are already 40, who are already 50, who are already 60? You're going to have to do some extreme stuff. There is no easy answers. There is no easy solutions. So if that's what you're looking for, I don't have any. First of all, you're going to have to get sparred. You're going to have to be one of, one of these pathologically cheap people so you can start stacking some money. Once your money clock starts ticking, it's going to tick at a very high and productive rate from, let's say, 16 to 45, 16 to 50. After that, the drop off in productivity, the drop off in energy is real. And this is one of the things that's not really discussed with financial planning or getting wealthy because many people feel that they're going to do it much quicker than they really can. Herein lies the reason that the financial industry exists because the advice they give you doesn't take into account this money clock. They just say, well, you know, your primary working years, but they really don't take into account the energy level. As someone who started many, many different companies, it takes a very high level of energy to get it started. And naturally, between the ages of 16 and maybe 35, you have a pretty high natural energy level unless you're health-wise compromised. But if you're healthy, you have loads of energy, but most of your time is predicated or divested into having fun, hanging out with your friends, building relationships, and I think that the way that our school system is, the way socially that we're set up, that we're giving kids the wrong advice. You should figure out some stuff. And I will give you 16 to 21. Figure out some stuff. But even at 16 to 21, you still need to be making money doing something. We have the Internet, the greatest equalizer in history. Virtually everyone can make money online. Now let's talk about making money online. There's selling something on Craigslist, Amazon. You made money online. If you put up a pair of shoes on eBay and you sold them and you got like 120 bucks, you've made money online. Everyone can make money online. How many people are making a living online? How many people are making enough money to pay all their bills and fund their retirement accounts and do all this stuff? That's what I'm talking about, because the sooner that you start acquiring these hit, these skills, the sooner that you will reach the position that you want to reach in. Because I remember there was this kid. He had cancer. This was when I was working in the Scottish Rite MOB. And his father was a salesman of cardboard boxes or something. I used to actually visit them and keep up with them. I haven't kept up with them in a long time. But essentially... The father started his own business. He got fired doing what he was doing in his job. And he made three times as much money. His wife worked because the insurance for their child who had cancer was on her insurance plan. So he was the primary take care caregiver. He would bring him for his appointments and so on and so forth. But because he accelerated his money clock, he was able to do that. Your main problem is how fast you make income. There's this thing, the fire movement. You can do this on any income. I vigorously disagree. You're making 25, 30 K unless you live in Kansas. That ain't happening. Playboy. But with the example of Bart, he drastically accelerated his income with the leverage of a business. That's where the juice is, because I want you to think. We all have a set number of years where we can be highly productive. And there will be some unicorns, some people like Tony, the, the chick that sings the, the Mickey song. 
she's 75 and her energy level is higher than a lot of 16 year olds. And I think that will become more normal as people take care of themselves. But imagine during your productive years, if you can accelerate your income. So instead of you working 20, 35 years, you work 20, 35 years and make 10, 20, 30, 40 times the money during your frame, because that's the key, accelerating your income. And I'm gonna do a special video on why banks are not the worst place in, you, in the world for you to put your money. Because I've seen a lot of videos about that and I was like, no, that's, that's not the truth. But I'll get into that in that video. If you want to accelerate your money clock, now that you know you have one, because you know, going back to my 45, 50, 60 year olds, here's the template. You're going to have to live on 50 or 25% of your income and bank and invest the rest. If you're 40, late 40s, 50s or 60s, that's what you're going to have to do. Now, as uh, we move forward, and uh, we'll talk about some other stuff. The goal isn't to retire. The goal is to get to a place where you can control your time and make more than enough money to live. One of the things I have a problem with the fire income and someone actually commented in there, let's not deal with assumptions or assuming everything goes right. In these videos, I'm giving you principles of things I have done or are currently doing. I'm not assuming and I'm not speaking in conjecture because the person went on is like, well, that's something, you know, he made these points, but he ain't even following these points. That's <laughs> disingenuous, my dude. Don't do that. Uh, I do, I meant, I do mean to get back to that comment because I'm going to blow it up because one of the things, and I want you to really understand me, if all of this financial advice is so good, why are most Americans a few paychecks away from disaster? Plenty of information. A lot of it's free because this information is designed to keep people poor. It is. You never heard anyone talk about accelerated income. You've talked about the people, oh God, it's super risky starting the business. Oh God, it's super risky having a job. There is, to me, starting a business, going back to BART and with the son with cancer, with knowledge in the industry that you know well, is no riskier than changing jobs. Now, it is a risk for you to start a business doing something you have no clue to how, what's involved. Yeah, that's extremely risky. That's why they will not hire you at a job unless you have experience because it's extremely risky. You want a traditional money clock or do you want an accelerated money clock? Because like I said, now that you know the clock is ticking, what are you going to do? For those of you who need more help with accelerating your money clock, first comment below is a link to enroll in my basic financial course, which I'm currently building out. Every day or every other day, there's new content until that is done. Then we'll move to the second tier. Now here's the news. If you buy into the first tier and you want the second tier, whatever you pay for the first tier, you don't have to pay again. We'll send you a coupon so you will not pay that money again because they will contain the same information. There'll be the first tier, which will be basic financial education. Uh, the second tier, investing yourself. And the third tier would be monthly programs. It's like a subscription model. So there's a lot of ways that you can get in there. And if you buy tier one, you buy tier two, then we will take that off of the monthly subscription. So there ain't no way for you to lose. And if you want to start learning how to accelerate your income, you want to learn how to start buying brand name stuff and living well, saving money and making money, do yourself a favor, go below, click that link and get in. With that, I'll see you guys in the next video.